Hello and welcome to this poster teaser for image quilting for histological image synthesis. Um, what we propose in this paper is an um, adaptation of image quilting to create realistic appearing augmentations for histological data, for example, for neural network training. And um, yeah, also we suggest to use this scheme in uh, inter-rater trials uh, for measuring the inter-rater variability. So what is image quilting? Very briefly, uh, it's a method to effectively combine two patches here A and B uh, via a cost function minimizing a minimum uh, cost boundary. Um, and this creates a rather invisible uh, merger between the two image patches. So the boundary is invisible to the human eye. Um, and to this end, uh, we contribute an adaptation of this cost function that is more suited to histological images, um, as well as a um, as an algorithm to uh, do this merging very efficiently and get very good results even in regions that have a more complicated overlap of patches. Um, in the result, uh, we can observe for multiple stains that this works pretty nicely. I have two examples here. One is uh, immune histochemically stained, the other one is hematoxylene and eosine stained. And uh, if you stop the video and maybe have a detailed look at it, it's very uh, obvious that the boundaries are pretty hard to detect um, by just looking at it. So why would you use that? I've said that one of the applications is uh, augmentation. Uh, since we compute these boundaries, we can simply save them and use the same boundaries for an existing label map and thereby increase the amount of labeled data that we have from our data set. This works particularly well if you use patches from this uh, in this intra mode, uh, where you don't end up with normalization problems, etc. Um, and to this end, we have an evaluation uh, with this tissue classification problem. Uh, we have a, the basic result over here without the augmentation and then um, twice the amount of data, 50% augmented, and five times the amount of data, 80% augmented. And what we see is that particularly for, um, so tumor is the largest represented class in this problem, and for the other classes, which are um, a bit less often appearing, um, we have an increase in the detection rates and a shift from the misclassification back to the, into the correct classes. Um, yeah, thank you for your attention.